time. It's time to get this show on the road. Yeah, he gave me a pretty necklace from Zales. I'm gonna wear it on our wedding day, which is right around the corner, oh my god. <laughs> Here at the ER with mom. She's not having. She's having an unusual headache. I think it might just be a bad sinus headache, but of course you want to be safe and sorry. Make sure it ain't like an aneurysm or anything like that. It's a headache she's never had before. It's over her eye and it's down in here, hurting real bad. And her neck is stiff, and told it might be a mild migraine, you never know. But she's, we're waiting for her to get a room. Hopefully, we won't be here very long. Um, it's not packed in there, which is good. I'm out here with Marley. So I brought her to keep me company while I come out here. Anyway, um,. And that um, she'll probably have to have a CT scan. <sighs> probably be hits 418. I'm hoping we'll be out of here by 530. Probably be home about 6. expect this to happen today but you never know and it's like I said it's better to be safe than sorry. No. I don't want to bore anybody. I'm going but I'll let everybody know what's going on. I'll see everybody later. Bye for now. Well, how was your trip to the doctor? The, the ER today? Tonight? Fine. Mama's fine. Just a hard head. Just a bad headache. Me to go. See, no, I did. I said, Mama, I do you want to go or not? I said, no. Then I said, I better. No, you said, I may have to. And I kept saying, you want to go? You want to well, go? I did feel good, though. Well, she was just concerned, and we might be hypochondriacs, but hey, they say hypochondriacs live the longest. <laughs> uh huh. You want to know why? Because every time we get sick, we always think the worst. <laughs> Yeah, we're
made it to Gatorheim. We were in there about two, three, two and a half hours maybe. Two and a half hours. Something like that. I'm ready to get home. Saw a lot of sick people. It'll take me a little beach beach bath. Beach bath. You got to help me. I am, I ain't taking one right now. I won't forget Molly's trying to get herself out so she can put her head again. Uh huh. We'll go. See everybody later. Hey everybody. I'm in the back forward seat again. Except this time it's daylight. And now I'm going to the doctor. Well, my problem is, is I got some tender in it. Not tender, but it's tender white. It's sore all in here. Down to there. Sore to the touch. Can't lay on it. When I turn my head something way, it hurts. I think it might be uh, something like a boil. Um, no, it ain't got no boil there. The ingrown hair. Maybe the bone is infected or something. Um, of course, I think it's lip bone no. cancer. Lip no cancer. I don't think it's a whip though, and there ain't no knot there, so I don't know. Uh, it's just really sore, and I don't want to take no chances because I'm a hypochondriac, so I'm going to the doctor. No, not just because I'm a hypochondriac, because I had this before, if y'all remember, after. Um, um, but it was more in right here, it was more right here behind my ear. This is over some. So anyway, that's where we're headed. And Marley's with us. Oh, and Marley got a new carrier. Check her new ride out. She got sunroof. She ain't got much more in it. No, no, it's for all the it's for all the cats. Well, it's Ma Marley rides in it more because she's our travel kitty. But anyway, um, she's not going to vlog today because she's afraid she might bore everybody. And um. What time is it? 11.30. Yeah. I don't know what they were going to do afterwards. Anyway, um, the I'll other son, anyway, she has a nice little sunroof. She don't like coming. She don't like getting out of it. She likes staying in the car because she feels secure. I mean, she likes staying in the carrier because she feels secure. 73 degrees. She's our own little bow today. Molly, Molly. Anyway, okay, <sighs> camel close you up, Molly. It's almost getting there. Anyway, I'm gonna go let everybody know what Doctor says about this crap. <laughs> No, not really. I did. I put the heating pad on it. And it made it feel a little better, but it also made it hurt because it was pressure on it. Um, and it took me, a, took me a few minutes to go to sleep. Because, uh... You gonna have some drinks? Well, you can't get your drinks here, can you? It was throbbing and stuff. Um, they don't have my cokes here. Um, you got some cigarettes? I still got, I, I still got some cans of coke in my refrigerator. Yeah, okay. I was just going to get a liter and I got to get some sun drop. Uh, have you got to some cigarettes today? Yes. Well, I'm going to have to stop the Donald Jill because I got to have some people Thought you were going to get them at Family Dollar. No, they're too high. At Family Dollar? Yeah, they're more. They're more. They're eight dollars. I can get down here for seven. Dollar Jones for seven. Oh, you're talking about your acid reflux yes. pills. I thought you were talking about cigarettes. Well, cigarettes are cheaper at Family Dollar. I know that. Are you gonna get the cigarettes at, Family, at Dollar General? No. So we got to stop there too. Yeah. Yeah, we won't be getting home until late. Hopefully not. Hopefully it won't take me long. No, I'm gonna get. I'll probably get cigarettes at Dollar General because I'm gonna get my. Yeah, does that mean 
We got to stop. Okay, after we after we get done with Doctor, I guess we'll go on to Walmart. We are. I reckon. We got to go to, to we got to go to Southern States, get Nick's we'll chicken food. And then um Dollar General, them are only two places we got to stop. I mean anyway, I'm gonna go y'all to my later back now. And this thing right here I got for Christmas, it also charges my camera. So now I don't have to worry about a camera dying on me when I go to the beach and stuff like that. It's awesome. I think I need another one. Get one eventually, another one eventually. Anyway, see everybody later, bye for now. Molly, 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 get in here. You gotta get in here, honey. Oh, come on, sit right here with me. She's ready. Get out now. So the doctor said. You can't get down, Molly. You're going to have to sit right here or get in your carrier one. Okay. Let's talk right now. Hey, everybody. So, about my doctor's appointment. Um. Um. He said that he didn't think there was anything um, to be worried about. He said that there, he didn't see no swelling, didn't feel any knots. But I think it's a sore because that feels like a sore right there unless I've scratched it and made a sore. And the ibuprofen has helped where I can move my head and stuff. And So anyway, he thinks ain't nothing to worry about and I'll be fine. Um, 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 so... Uh, he didn't give me no medicine or anything like that, so I'm not going to worry about it because I think the soreness might be getting better. Or it might just be the ibuprofen. I need to stop messing with it. He thinks that it might have just been how I laid or something on it, but I don't know. I think it's a... He wasn't sure what it was because there wasn't no swelling or anything like that, but I think it's a bump. I'm starting to think maybe it's a bump. I don't know, because I told him it felt like it was outside the skin. Anyway, um, he said the ibuprofen was helping. Then, just, you know, I guess just keep taking it, and I will. I got some exciting news. My cousin, Kevin, um, is going to come Sunday, and he is going to put down the new floor in my studio. <laughs> okay, it is a studio. Um... And he's got all the lumber we need, good treated lumber that's actually used in beach houses. And he's going to do it all Sunday. And, um, and we're going to get it done. Um, I'm just going to throw some rugs down in there later on. Um, and not do tile again. But anyway, yeah, he's he's definitely coming Sunday, him and his girlfriend and two kids. Um, he has more than two kids. He has a lot of kids. Thanks to him, I have seven cousins. This is all on my dad's side. Yeah, um, yeah, he, he's a daddy. <laughs> he's a daddy, all right. <laughs> but he's, like, one of my coolest cousins. I mean, he's, he's near my age. Anyway, I might get him on video a little bit, um, if he wants to be on video. Um, I don't even know if he knows how to do YouTube. I know that his mom and dad know. Uncle Peter and Aunt Sue, they know. I think they sometimes watch the show. Anyway, um, anyway, but yeah, he's coming. I'm excited about it. I can, fi I'll finally be able to go in there, and I can film in there. Um, if anybody needs pictures, you know, it'll be, it'll be ready. It'll be done, and, um, just slacking on my photography now that I'm all about YouTube. But anyway, what I'm getting ready to do now is go in there and start taking some stuff out. Um, the floors have holes all in them right now, so um, I gotta be careful. And he said he got every he's got everything that I need for 
taking out everything. Like, you know, um, taking out the floor and stuff, crowbars and all that probably. I've already knocked some of it out with a hammer. I mean, my God, it's all rotted. It ain't going to take no time to rip it up. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's happening Sunday. Um, spur of the moment thing, um, he had texted me, and I think one of his children accidentally texted me by mistake, and then he started talking about it, and I was like, well, you know, he can do it all Sunday. So I don't, like, do stuff on Sunday, but, you know, he stays busy. He is a carpenter, so, and, um, me and Mama also want to have our floor ripped up in the living room because we're sick of carpet. We you know, we got too many cats. So we're going to have it ripped up sometime this year, and we're going to have tile down, and I'm going to ask him and see if he would be willing to come and help me. Um, I can put down the tile, but ripping up the carpet will be a job, and he probably could put down a tile better than me. So I'm going to talk to him about that, and he might can also get us some new rails done. I don't want to put too much on it, but if we need anybody that come, can come and do that, you know, I know who to get now. Um, he stays busy, and so, but... Um, he definitely wants to come and do it, so I told him to come on, so Sunday's going to be it. Finally, I'll have my studio, um, back, and I'll be able to go in it without having to worry about stepping in a hole. Yep, alright, so I'm going to go and get busy out there, and um, I'll talk to everybody later. Um, yeah, I'm planning on stopping that wedding. I'll tell y'all about that later. Bye for now. He gave me a pretty necklace from Zales. I'm gonna wear it on our wedding day, which is right around the corner. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, no, he hadn't had any more seizures, which, um, he hasn't really, um, been around anything that looks familiar to him. And, uh, so, I'm glad about him not having any more seizures. And I want to keep it that way. Yeah, we're going to watch the beach ball drop down here at the beach. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Yeah. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> a romantic night. Yep. <coughs> Celebrating New Year and our wedding. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's amazing, trust me. Oh, he's in the shower right now. Oh, believe me. I want to. I would love to join him, but I'm saving that for just a couple days. Oh, I know. <laughs> Crazy in love. <laughs> too girl but you gonna but trust me um I'll 
I'll be keeping in touch, and um, you have to come and see a new place. Yeah, I am super excited. I am ready to get out of here. Just um, far away from all the memories, and I don't know. It's a touchy um situation um because uh. It seems like every time he sees something looks familiar to him, it triggers a seizure, and, uh, and I've never seen that before. Um, yeah, I'm just, um, it's, um, try to keep him away from anything that looks familiar to him. Um, and I know that, um, nothing in, um, uh, Nothing in Emerald Isle is going to look familiar to him, and it's all going to be fresh, everything. Nothing's going to spark a memory for him there. It might be for his own good. I have a bunch of accounts ready to text Patty. And her phone's going to be blowing up. And um, I got a text message from Chrissy. She and Chester are going to come over for like a quick second, just to tell me some exciting news but she said that Chester just isn't comfortable with being on camera she said he's just very private and just he don't want to be on camera without his silly glasses and I said well okay he's a weird boy He don't have a Facebook or nothing. He's just private. Maybe why he acted so weird when they were here when they ate birthday cake. I'm on this in there cooking and I'm getting ready to go in there and eat. On a perfume with a bunch of. You'll see. You'll see. I got to prepare some, I got to get some stuff, um, ready to send to her. Like I said, you'll see. Because I know exactly what I'm going to do. I've had this plan for a while. Patty's phone is going to start blowing up. And of course, she's going to keep blocking me so that I'll be ready with another account. And she's going to be. <laughs> she's going to be so mad. I don't care. I'm going to do everything I can to stop this wedding. I told y'all I was. I don't know what time Chrissy's going to be here. Um, she said it would be in a little bit. So, but of course, she don't know nothing what I'm doing. So, hush, hush. All right. Well. It's time. It's time to get this show on the road. I'm going to start blowing up Patty's phone. Yep, sure am. It's going to be a lot of fun. See y'all then. Bye for now. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm leaving some stuff in Burgau. I'm leaving some stuff in Burgau in my house there. Yeah, um, because um, when my sister gets out of rehab sometime this year, She's um going to need a place to stay, and uh, she's going to probably have to stay in my house there. I hate being far away from her. It's the only problem. I'll make sure that she's taken care of, and I'll make sure that Renee does not mess with her. I don't even want Renee around her. I'm afraid what Renee might do. Yeah, I know it's her own mother, but Renee's dangerous. Nobody knows what that girl's capable of. Trust me, the walls are thin in my house in Burgal. Real thin. Charlene will probably uh, flip out when I tell her about me and Bobo and this whole thing with Renee. And, uh, but she might laugh about it and think it's funny, which, um, which uh, my sister just ain't the same anymore. I don't know, it's hard to say how she's going to react. She's changed so much because of all the trauma that Renee caused her. 
And she's on all kinds of medications, so she's on all that medication, and she's just not herself. And I don't think she ever will be again. Um, she's quiet a lot now, and she still has uh, nightmares about uh, Renee trying to kill her that night. Yeah, real bad for her. Breaks my heart. She ain't gonna be around Bubba because, because she might look familiar to him. And uh, I don't want to trigger a seizure. Yeah. And there's no, really no reason for her to be around him anyway. I mean, we're going to be um, pretty far from her. And, and I'll make sure she's taken care of. Um, as long as Renee stays away from her. Renee's the devil. Hold on, Diane. Let me check my Facebook Messenger. It's blowing up. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I sent the message. I'm like so cold right now. <laughs> I had the heater on. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I don't want to be in the dark, but I can't. I want to read a message. Um, I don't think she's got it yet. Um, okay, um, all right, so, the message actually accidentally got sent twice, <coughs> but that's all right, she'll just have all that to read, she'll probably think it's one long message, but actually it's just, I can only sit that twice. This is the same as this one. Okay. Here we go. Hey, it's me again. Look, you need to do the right thing and bring Bobo to us. Chrissy and Bobo are meant to be. You Bobo are meant to be. You're not meant for him. Chrissy is the only one who is. I think you know that. I don't know why you are so obsessed over him and took him out of the hospital the way you did. I don't get it. And you have a lot of explaining to do. Chrissy may have given him away to you, but that's, that's, <coughs> but that's because she thinks he cheated on her with his ex, but I really do not think that's what happened. Only Bobo has the answers, but unfortunately he cannot remember them. But I believe that he will remember one day and maybe a lot sooner if he was here around the people who love him. Here's a pic of Bobo and Chrissy. Look how happy they were. He needs to see her. I think it will possibly help him remember. I don't care what the doctors say. They are not God. I do believe he will remember. But even if he don't, he and Chrissy can still work things out be together. His ex is the reason for all this. She's been trying to tear Chrissy and Bobo apart since last year. That in some way I would love to hunt her down and beat the truth and beat the truth out of her. Please, I'm begging you, bring Bobo home to us, where he belongs. I don't know anything about you, just that you are a lot older than him and a nurse. We need answers. Please, please, please. Chrissy doesn't deserve Chrissy doesn't deserve any of this. And I, I sent this picture, and I put, They have loved each other since they were kids. He needs to be with us and his family. His uncle has every right to see his one and only nephew. They are close. Please do the right thing. Diane, I got to go. Yeah, everything's good. Um, I just got a lot I got to do. Uh, like I said, I still got a little packing to do and everything. But I'll talk to you. Um, I'll get with you tomorrow. And then I'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you later. Uh, bye. Oh, God.
just wish this girl would leave me alone. That's message number one. Alright. Either she'll reply or she will delete me and block me again and I just go to my next account. So, it's her call. I mean, if she wants to play this game because, um, just, oh, man. God, I wish I could get down and kill on a beach. I don't want to tell her that I know they're getting married because then if I do get away down there to Carolina Beach, she'll know that I know where the wedding's at and then she could. not be there. And I went to Bobo's page, Bobo's profile. I'm on my other account and I try going to his profile and every time I do it's not coming up. And she wouldn't know the password. He wouldn't even remember the password. I don't know. I'll have to try Signing into my other account and seeing if I can see it in that way. Because I typed in Bubba Wayne Jones and nothing came up. And she wouldn't know his password. I don't know, that's weird. Let me just sign into my other account. My original account. Page comes up from here. Well, this profile came up. I just couldn't see it from my other account for some reason. It might just be a Facebook issue. Well, let me look for more pictures because I'll send some more of him and Chrissy together. Speaking of Chrissy. She is supposed to be coming over any time, I believe. Okay, <clears throat> something weird is going on, I guess. All right, um, signed in to, um, let me see. Sorry, I don't mean to be locked in. I got my other cell phone, so I'm like, so y'all can see me. All right, um, I just went and checked the messages. And the only way I'll know if it's red, if, is if she was to reply, and we know she's not going to do that. 
Okay. There's the message right there sent, okay? Alright. I go to... I tap on her name. And I go to profile. Alright. If you go on Facebook, okay. So, then I go to... Um... Patty Foster, okay. All right, her profile comes up, but okay. I can't message her. I can't message her now. You can see that I can't tap on it. So let me try this. Hello. went through. I reckon it did. I don't know. I was able to send her a message through here. I don't know if she got it. But when I go to her profile, it says the message can't be sent. I don't know. Apparently she hasn't blocked me because I can still see her profile. I guess it don't matter. Whether she's read it or not, whether she's blocked me or not, I'm still gonna go to another account. And Hello, answer me. Please. Dang it. I don't know if she's getting this or not. I mean it's letting it go through, but I don't know how it works if you I don't know. I know how I can, I know exactly how I can find out if she's blocked me from just messages. I'll go to another profile that I have created, <laughs> and I will type in Patty Foster. And I will go to message. Yep, 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 that's it. Apparently she has blocked me from getting messages, but hasn't blocked me from seeing her profile. So now I am on another account. I'm going to be messaging her from this account. That woman. She's reading these messages and she's just blocking me. Okay, my cousin just takes me about... Um, the floor. He said it looks like I need about six pieces. I just want to see what he can get rounded up for me. I hope it still happens, Sunday. At least you ain't got the money right now to go and buy no lumber. I don't know when Chrissy's going to be here. She needs to hurry up because I'm getting sleepy. And it's time for me to take my shower. It's time for shower cut. If you think so, I'm not going to send her any more messages. Shoot. I'll blow up your phone, Patty Waddy. Nick, Nick, Patty Wack, give your dog a phone. <laughs> this old woman came running home. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Um, I'll take, I mean, I'll text everybody. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I will talk to everybody when Christy's here, and we'll see what this big, what this big surprise is she has. At no time. <sighs> okay, bye for now. <clears throat> Chris is here. She's in the bathroom, but she said she's not here long at all, that she couldn't wait to tell me yet.
the exciting news. Um, I, um, I haven't texted Patty yet again. Um, um, I was going to wait. Um, I was going to wait um, a few minutes and after Chrissy leaves, I'll, I'll text her again. I was going to. Um, she said she wasn't going to come inside, that she, but she had to use the bathroom, and I got chilly out there, so. And I've already taken my shower and everything, so just waiting for her to use the bathroom. Marley got a bath. She's under the bed hiding because she's wet and she's drying off. She won't let me um, use a hair dryer on her. <laughs> she's scared of it. Mm. Where y'all going? Um, we're we heading to my house, and um, uh, and uh, he he didn't want to come in, and, and he brought his silly glasses just in case. But yeah, we're um, uh, we're gonna be going to his house on uh, New Year's Eve, and it's just gonna be me and him. His parents ain't gonna be there. Does your mom does your mom know that <laughs> it's just gonna be you and him? No. It shouldn't matter. I mean, you're old enough to you're old enough to do what you wanna do. <laughs> That's right. So what's exciting news? Okay. I couldn't wait any longer. I just I had to tell you in person because it's something I want you to see. Chester proposed to me. We're getting married New Year's Day. You know, I, I thought you might would be happy, but then again, I wasn't sure, and so, I'm sorry you're not happy, I'm just going to go. No, I, I, no, I, I, I want you to listen to me. I want you to sit down. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I told you I don't want to talk about it anymore, Christy. I'll sit down, but I can't sit down long. Chester, wait. Chester can wait. I'll just tell Chester to come here. And he can wear his silly glasses. No, I don't want Chester to come in with those silly glasses on. I want it to be you and me. And I want you to listen to me. Now, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. You may not want to hear this, but you are making a big mistake, Chrissy. I'm not making a big mistake. There's only one person for you. And that's Bobo. And you know that. Bobo don't remember who I am or nothing. I mean, and I told you, I can't sit around and wait. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I know he is shacked up with, with Patty. But, like you... And your mom aren't even trying. I'm going to be honest with you. He is supposed to be getting married to Patty. She's going to marry him. How do you know they're getting married? Because I've been keeping up with her on Facebook. I'm, she never sent my request, but I can see some things, and I know they're getting married to And As a matter of fact, I've been messaging her, messaging her, telling her what a mistake it is for her to be marrying Bobo and that he needs to be here with us so he can remember. He's never going to remember anything as long as he's with her, I'm afraid. I didn't think you were doing that anymore. I thought you were going to drop it. I guess that was wrong. I am trying to stop you from making a huge mistake. I mean, she's not going to marry him. So you're not going to marry Chester. You made a mistake when you gave Bobo to Patty. Just gave him away like that. All you're going by, all you are going by is a liar. 
Renee is a liar. She's crazy. She came to my house and pulled a gun on me. She's, she's, she's crazy. And if I have to hunt her down or whatever, I will to get the truth out of her. Because I know good and well that Bobo would not have slept with her. I believe she put that empty condom wrapper in that cabin. And she lied to you. Every word that came out of her breath, she, every word that came out of her mouth is a lie. And you are believing it. Don't believe it. You are doing exactly what she wants you to do. Giving up. And I guess, I mean, because she don't know where Bobo is at, or she don't know nothing about this Patty woman, she has no way of finding Bobo. But we do. We do. We know where he's at. And I don't care what your mama says. I believe that if, that if we were to go there and stop that wedding, you and me go and stop that wedding, then... I'm not gonna go and stop no wedding. I'm gonna get I'm getting married. You're you're taking this guy off the rebound. You're marrying him off the rebound. You're doing it to get over Bobo and you know it. Don't wanna talk about it no more. I thought I didn't want to talk about it anymore. What you're saying is not true. I do love Chester. And I'm just ready to move on so I can be happy. I, I, and just gotta understand that and accept it. No. You cannot hear this anymore. I'm sorry. Making me look really stupid. She really is stupid. But I'm not. I'm not. And I just want you to be happy for me and, and, and just be happy that I'm happy. And, but you're just. You're just so hung up on this bobo thing and, and until you can let it go. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I don't want to come over anymore. I don't want to hear from you anymore. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, I've told you over and over again that I didn't want to talk about Bobo or none of that crap. And you refused. And I'm not going to, you can take the pet all you want to, but I, I, I don't care. I don't care. And I'm just so sick of talking about this and hearing it and, and having it. I just, I want to put it all behind me and you won't let me. You won't let me. And I saw what you looked at me and Chester that day we were over here. And look at you've been giving me and him. And, and you still got Bobo stocking up and it's so stupid to have his stocking still up. You don't understand. I, I know you're just making a big mistake and you're just giving up on him. But you know what? I won't because I know that there's a way. You've always been such a good friend to me, but because you're not, not right now, you're not because you're not respecting my wish. And do you do? I just can't talk to you, be around you. I mean, because every time I come here, I know that you're never going to be happy for me and Chester. And I just, I can't do it. I can't be around somebody who's not going to be happy for me and. I mean, but they, you know, he has all the answers and we may never get them. And I just can't sit around and wait, sit around and wait. And I just, I'm like my mom, I can't go and knock down Patty's door and beg him for Bobo to come to me. I mean, just let me be. Just let me be. I'm married to Justin New Year's Day, and that's that.
Shut up about it. I'm going. I'll let my snail out. I don't care what she says. Either I, either I succeed or I fail, either one. Well, I got two days. I got all day today. I got all night and tomorrow to figure out how I'm gonna stop this wedding. These weddings. to stop. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. 